Hello, this is Brian Shannon from AlphaTrends.net. Today is Wednesday, the 14th of May, 2008, and uh, the market's closed. S&P finished with a gain of about 53 cents, or 0.38 percent. But as often the case, the closing numbers don't tell the full story. You see that the S&P 500 did come up to uh, te and, and test that trend line. It looked like it was getting above it, uh, but was unable to hold intraday and also still remains underneath that 200-day moving average as well. So it seems as though that trend line does have some sellers there, and the market was unable to, to make a higher high uh, at this point. When we look at the 10-minute uh, time frame, you can see in here that this market had made it past some... Uh, resistance from yesterday uh, right near this uh, 141 level and uh, rallied right up to the level where we've seen sellers in here before and the level that I would pointed out yesterday saying that it would need to get above uh, this area to really be able to uh, move further uh, higher beyond that 200 day moving average which is again still declining. Uh, we still have to look at this uh, weekly time frame as relevant in here as this larger term level of uh, support uh, is looking like perhaps they're finding a little bit of resistance in there. Whether or not it is able to push above that is anyone's guess, but with that 200-day uh, moving average still declining, you have to be careful in here. The gains have been coming pretty easily, uh, pretty fast here in individual stocks lately, um, and that's often the times when we see the uh, sellers reemerge is when it gets a... Uh, you know, seem, seemingly a little bit too easy with some of the, the upward movement and some of the speculative stocks. So those are the, uh, often the first ones to come in, and uh, that's what we're seeing right now. The market does remain in good shape, though. I mean, obviously, we've got this market above the rising 10, 20, and 50-day moving average, but I think maybe it's telling us that uh, it's time for a little bit further consolidation. 140 is going to continue to be important. This is a, was an important level of resistance prior. So uh, it seems as though the market is just kind of quieting down in here a little bit. And again, we've got this level up here at about 142.5. That uh, is the uh, resistance for now, um, most relevant level of resistance. But you can't also rule out the fact that this market could get going back to the upside. Perhaps it's building a right shoulder here on this 30-minute time frame, and we'll be able to push above there. It remains at a critical juncture, and again, the best bet is to, to, uh, to, you know, to trade the individual stocks based on their own man merits and manage risk very tightly. If we look at the IWM, of course, this one, this market was able to get above the uh, $73 level here, and it's, it's closed above there now for two days. If we take a look at uh, uh, the VWAP for, you know, since the beginning of the year for the IWM, you can see the average price is down there near $70 a share. And looking at a weekly time frame, if we go from January of last year or even uh, January of 2006, you can see that the average participant actually over the last couple of years is still in a losing position here. And if we take a look at the SPY um, doing the same uh, using a, a VWAP, that is, let's take a look first at the daily time frame. Let me clear all these lines out. And uh, we can take a look at the VWAP since the beginning of the year. Average price right around that 50-day moving average. And uh, since uh, January of 2007, we've got right, you know, we're right near that level right now. Since January of 2006, people are in a little bit better shape, but still an area where the average price is right around this level here for the last uh, two and a half years or so. And price has memory. That means there's a lot, you know, when people are trapped with losses, a lot of times when it gets back to their average cost, they will become uh, sellers of that market. And, uh, you know, it's not suggesting that we're due for a big sell off here. Again, the shorter term time frames are actually more bullish looking. And again, potentially setting up for uh, continued upside there on the uh, uh, S&P 500. And the Russell 2000, we can see. Um, you know, that this, uh, this level, this market broke past resistance uh, that it's seen intraday at that 73.30 level or so and was able to hold above it here uh, despite the late day sell off. They, they took it down, uh, you know, pretty dramatically here in all the markets. Um, so we've got still a bullish looking shorter term picture. The daily time frame, here we are, you know, getting up towards that declining 200 day moving average and it comes within the context of this bigger. Uh, potential problems, so just have to take it stock by stock. The NASDAQ 100 was down 11 cents today. This market, if we take a look at the uh, VWAP, let's let's start on the daily time frame. We'll start since January 1st. Uh, that's not a VWAP line, that's why that didn't work right, but uh, let me just change that. The average price, the volume weighted average price year to date, is right around 45 or so. 
If we take a look back since January of 06, the average price, NASDAQ is in much better shape, obviously, than the rest of the markets. And we've seen this more dramatic uh, rally in here to uh, account for that. So uh, the, this market remains above the 200-day moving average, and, and perhaps the market comes back down and, and continues to test that level further. That wouldn't be a negative by any measure. Um, on the 30-minute time frame, uh, you know, what I was suggesting yesterday is that breaking past uh, what looked like an inverted head and shoulders pattern here uh, at $49 a share would give us an upward objective near 50. Market came up to 49.95 or so, I think, today. Um, and then the sellers came in here late in the day. This market is, you know, extended, and you can see how rapidly, uh, you know, it came down. The sellers were, you know, aggressive about taking profits in here up near that round number of $50 a share and after this large rally. So there remains, you know, still a lot of uh, risk of a deeper pullback in here, but the the uh, daily time frame with a rise in 10, 20, and 50-day moving average still favors the long side. It just seems as though this market has, uh, you know, come pretty far pretty quickly. I wouldn't be surprised to see it come back down maybe towards that $48.5 level, and it will still be in good intermediate uh, term health, uh, but you've got to expect maybe we're going to see a little bit larger volatility.